Today we're going to take a look at the Snow 12, a 12 inch portable electronic video magnifier CCTV by Zoom Max. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and I make videos on technology and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. If you're interested in that type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. A big thank you to Zoomax for sponsoring this video and sending out this demo unit so I can show you guys what the Snow 12 is and what it can do. So the Snow 12 is a 12 inch magnifier that can zoom in, zoom out, change the color filters, and it also has OCR, which is optical character recognition. So we can take a picture of text and then read it back to you. It also has a near view mode. So that means uh, something that's on the desk, you put the magnifier on top of it. You can use the magnifier that way or a distance mode, which allows you to look at things that are farther away. First, let me show you what's in the box. And it's a big box. We'll take that off. You get a nice case here for the Snow 12. And there's also a pouch here. So there's your actual device. You get a nice carrying case here for the stand and all your adapters. And you have a Ziploc bag full of your instructions, quick start guide, and everything like that. Inside the stand case, we have the snow adapter and the other part of the adapter, a USB cord to connect it to the computer, and a HDMI cord. We have the Snow 12 stand, which I will get into later. You can choose to get the Snow 12 with the stand or without the stand, and here's everything that comes when you buy it with the stand. So here is the Snow 12. Again, this is a 12 inch diagonal a magnifier. And on the right side, it has a round power button at the bottom. And then going up, there is the headphone jack and the HDMI port going out. And on the other side, there is a HDMI port going in and a USB port going out to the computer. So you can connect this to a computer. On the back of the device, there is a button right here which pushes the stand open. And then these will be your LED lights. And so what you do is press and hold the power button and it should turn on. Near view mode. And it will automatically go to near view mode, which means that it's set to read things on the desk. And so here we have all our controls. Starting from the right, it is increased magnification. So if I press that, you can see it increasing. And the next one is decreased magnification. The next one over is your mode. So you can change the different color filters that it has. And if you press and hold this for about a second, it should go back to color. So that is the group of buttons on the right. Those are three buttons starting on the right again. So this would be the fourth button from the right. This is your home button. So if you press that, text to speech function. You can pull up text to speech, you can go to settings, information, you can go back. Zoomax also offers a distance camera that you can connect to this. So that would be the device that you would connect to the HDMI in. And you can also go to your gallery. So I'm going to press the back. This is touch screen, or you can also use the joystick. So if I want to press the back button, I press enter with the color mode button. The next button over is the camera button. So if you press this button, it'll take a snapshot. So that's what the snapshot looks like. And then you can move it over. You don't have to be just uh, right on the right spot. And you can zoom in. And then from there, you can use your finger to pan around the screen, like a, any touch screen, or you can use the joystick and it will also help you pan around the screen. And from here, you can also decrease the magnification and change the color 
filter. So whenever you take a picture, there is a little icon here. When you touch it, you have the option to collapse the menu. You can save the image, you can go to your gallery or just press back. So if you press back like I did, I just touched the screen, it takes you back to magnifier view. When you are in the magnifier near distance mode, if you press the minus and the plus at the same time, you can turn on reading lines and if you keep pressing it, it'll change the reading line or the mask. And if you keep pressing it, it'll take you back to normal. And this does have OCR. To get to the OCR, you can press the home button and press the OCR like I showed you, or you can press and hold the camera button for three seconds. And it will take you to the text-to-speech function. I suggest going here on the top right where you can turn on the light. And from there, we're gonna try to take picture and you can tap on the screen to focus it. I have no idea if the, that was a good picture or not. Please note that Snow 12 runs Android operating system. It will take a tick longer time to turn the unit on. The special design standby mode can reduce the frequency of powering slash off. Please refer to chapter 4.3 standby mode. So here on the OCR mode, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can change the color filter. You can increase and decrease the size of the image. You can collapse this touchscreen menu and then you can change the view. So right now we are in the view where it's just all text. So if you wanted to see it in the context of the picture, you can press the second button. Android operating system. It will take a tick longer time to turn the unit on. And then you can go design. back to the text view. That's no 12 runs Android operating system. It will you can make the voice slower. Speed up. You can make the longer voice faster. Special design standby mode can reduce the In the middle is pause and play. Then you have volume down and up. And then you have save. And then you have back. So if you press back, it'll take you back to take another picture for OCR. So it's OCR is pretty good. Another mode it has is if you fold the stand and you just push it in. Distance view mode. And with that, you can be farther away from the uh, paper and you can um, still magnify, decrease magnification, increase, do all the normal uh, things that you would do with near distance mode. One thing to keep in mind if you are in distance mode, the angle of the camera is pointing down at an angle. So that way when the stand is open, it is looking straight down at the page. So when you are looking in the distance, you have to have it angled or sometimes you can even have it upside down if you're looking at something higher in the air just because of how the camera is pointing. So when I have it straight, the camera is actually pointing upward. Now if you press the home, let's go to settings. To so I'm going to just tap on the settings. There are a lot of settings here. You can turn the LED lights on, off, just have the left one on, just have the right one on. Just depending on your lighting, you can choose what's better for your environment. You can change the volume of the narrator for you. You can change the screen brightness. So if this is too bright or if it's too dark, you can change that. So if we go in there, you can use the joystick and make it brighter or make it dimmer. And then reading line or masks. You can also adjust the reading line or mask. Female. So here you can choose female or a male, male voice. So we'll use the male voice for a little bit. Language. So you can change the language there. If you press the mode icon, you can select and deselect the color filters that you don't use. So let's say I don't use these ones with all the different colors and I just want the black and white. You can disable all of those. And once you're back in the magnifier and you press the um, mode filters button, it will only cycle through those color filters that you have chosen here. But once I'm in the magnifier, I just press the color filter and now it will only go through the option that I chose in the menu. Now if I go back to settings, now here you can change how much contrast things are going to have. So you can actually 
increase this and if you see in the background you can see the text has much more contrast and if we decrease it now the text has much less contrast so i'm going to raise it back up because i like a whole lot of contrast and then the next one 60 hertz you can choose from 50 hertz or 60 hertz i would just keep that to 60 hertz that which is the default you can turn off the touchscreen functionality on this if you want to, if you're not comfortable with touchscreens. Demo mode. So, you know, if you're store or low vision center, you can put this on demo mode. And this shows a video of all the things that the Snow 12 is capable of doing. You can also go to the gallery. So you can connect this to a computer and you can um, actually put in images or text files in here for the OCR to read or you can put PDFs. Okay, so I have a textbook here that is one of the books for my son's homeschool, um, but this is a PDF that I transferred from the computer to the Snow 12 and you can increase and decrease the uh, magnification here. You can use your finger to um, pan around the screen and you can also change the color filter. And from here, you can use the joystick to read it or your finger to pan around. And then you can also keep increasing it. Unfortunately, I don't believe there is a way to OCR PDF files, um, but if they are pictures, you should be able to. You can also go to the photos and here it will show you all the pictures that you have um, taken in and saved in the past. And then if you go into one, here you can still do the same thing zoom in zoom out use the uh, joystick if you want to you can change the color filters pretty much anything you could do in the magnifier view now one really cool thing is that you can opt to get a stand for this device i'm going to move this over and so for the stand you just lift it up let it lock you rotate it around and then you rotate the top part around and then the Snow 12, you want to fold the stand and I'll say distance view, but what you do is once you put it in the stand, it will recognize that it is now in the stand. So here is the stand. You can put a piece of paper under there. This will help you to always see our a whole document. So that's what you would put on there and it can snap a picture and then do the processing so that it can read it back to you. You can use it as a magnifier. You can zoom in again, zoom out, change the color filters, and then you can actually turn this on its side. So this will help you to line it up for the OCR. So now I place the paper under and I'm going to press the camera button. And sometimes if you're not using a um, glossy paper, you can turn on the light, but this is a little bit glossy. Obama, Max, yellow text on black background, black text on yellow background, green text on black background, black text on green background, yellow text on blue background, blue text on yellow background. So that's pretty much it for the stand just take this off so to fold the stand you just lift this part that's holding the magnifier up and around it stops and then you lift it up and around again and this part to fold it all the way down there's two metal pieces on each side lift these two metal pieces up and then it folds down so that is all about the snow 12 what it can do and all the features that it has if you're interested in getting a snow 12 i will leave some links down below for the zoom max store and i will also leave the phone number in the description as well question of the day is what kind of magnifier or cctv do you use if you use one i'd love to hear from you guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on technology and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.